Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Christian and welcome to another RF Online Play Park video. So we are back here in the Korra Alliance of the Desolation server and we'll just have a very short video for today. So if you noticed, I have this green aura again on my head. So this is the chip breaker aura and um, you get this if you or any of your guildmates was able to last hit the enemy's chip in the previous chip war. So in my case, I was able to last hit the chip in the previous chip war, okay? And I'm here to give you some tips on how I do it. So it's actually my fifth time, just my fifth time to do this chip breaker aura in Play Park. Um, I can't remember my level up days. And it's just my fourth time using this character, the Zealot. So I think I did it once before when I was using a mage. So anyway, um, let's head head on down to the Crag Mining area. And uh, I'll show you some of my tricks on how I do it. Um, unfortunately, for most of my um, uh, for any of my chip breakers, I wasn't able to screen capture any of those. So um, uh, it's okay. I'll just be showing you some scenarios on what I do. Well, first of all, um, there's like two things that will determine if you are going to be the chip breaker. So first up, it's your attack. So obviously, if you have a higher a higher attack you'll have a higher chance of possibly last hitting the enemy's chip okay so let's just buff up so we are in the crag mine field and we are in the Korra chip okay so there you always have to make sure you're fully buffed up when you are like going into the chip war or any other case so you get your full buffs and in my case I don't have any Jade so if you can get like any of the attack Jades from the cash shop or from the NPC anyway I did a video about that earlier or you can just make your own um, burst generator it will also help because it will increase your attack next up you're, you're gonna want to use your maximum attack potions so in my case I'm using these candy pots they give 55% attack and yeah that, that's it so you use your maximum potions and if your race has like your support team look on down here we have two people as our support team they have race buffs and the race buff if it gets activated just press L this is it it increases your attack power by 20% so head near to your support team and you will notice that your attack is higher and your health will become higher so this will this will help I think my attack power goes up to max a maximum of 20,000 so that's it and next up your other trick on uh, my other trick on how I was able to last hit the enemy chip like multiple times is is your timing okay so if you take a look at the chip just click on it it has a life bar okay like any of the other monsters and other players they have a life bar so it goes down 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 and anyway most of the time your race leader or any of your consoles will be doing the race chat here on the left side so you will know if like what percent is the enemy's chip but the most important thing you have to look at is if the enemy's enemy's chip is right around here maybe 10 percent or less okay so when it starts going down you need to be focused on first of all the enemy's chip and then the race chat here because if you're not 
a consul or any of these race leaders, you won't be able to actually see the stats. So just look at what they are saying here. And once the enemy's chip goes down to around 3%, 2%, you have to ignore what they're saying here. Uh, just look at the life bar and you're gonna notice it slowly goes down and once the life bar of the enemy i mean the control device of the enemy goes down to at least one percent you you need to start like counting by yourself like like a few milliseconds you've got to be able to predict how fast the enemy's chip goes down so if maybe it takes just a few moments a few seconds you just need to time it and then if they say it's already one or zero here there's actually a few milliseconds of delay here um, before it actually goes down to zero so the next step on how you're able to last hit the chip is it's mostly about your luck and timing okay and make sure you use your most powerful skill so in my case, I am a warrior zealot. My most powerful skill would be the bash explosion. So most of the time, you only have one shot and you only get one skill. And after your, your only skill, you won't have any time to land your second or your third skill. So that's about it. Once the life bar goes down here and you see your race chat saying one or zero, just um time it yourself like a few seconds that's where you will spam your skills and hopefully you'll be able to last hit and don't forget to um like press t on your keyboard and click on this little button here and make sure you have your system message on okay and race chat so these two important things because once you're able to um, finish the chip war and you get your skills um, into the chip, you'll actually be able to see here who was able to capture the enemy's control chip. So most of the time after I land my skills, I go directly looking here and I see who last hits the chip. So if it's me, I usually just run away and I don't loot anymore because I try to go to the middle of the mining area and deliver the control chip so that we can get the win, get this hero's roar, and get our chip breaker aura so we can farm and level. <laughs> okay, so that's it. So anyway, hopefully um, in my next chip wars, I'll be able to screen capture what I do so I can give you a more in-depth guide on how i'm able to last hit the chip so um that's it so um if you're thinking that um you're still a low level character now it's okay you just need to level up and like i said you need the best equipment available but in my case um here in desolation server we are still in level 65 cap and if you look closely, I'm only level 61. My weapon is plus 5, but it's only level 60. So I don't really have the best of the best weapon. So that's where your, the second tip I, I shared would come in. You need to be able to time your last hit like carefully so that you'll be able to uh, be the chip breaker and last hit the enemy's chip. So anyway, I guess that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching the video and if you guys like the video if I shared something to you anything new don't forget to give a like comment down if you have questions and don't forget to share to your friends and as always thank you so much for subscribing to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe so I'll be leaving you now and I'll see you again in another RF online play park video video goodbye